Hi, I'm Dawn. Welcome back to my channel. Now before I forget, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell if you'd like to know when I upload new videos. We are getting so close to 100 subscribers. I'm really excited about that. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Alrighty, uh, today what I wanted to do is go over some of the things that I'm really enjoying this month, the month of August 2018. I had 10 things out here and uh, I think the video would be like way too long. So I kind of cut it down to five with one uh, honorable mention. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I think probably the most favorite thing that I've been using this month that I just received in my BoxyCharm are these House of Lashes lashes. Now, you all know that I went through chemo just finished in December of last year. My hair's growing in fine, my lashes not so much. So I do enjoy using false lashes on occasion, but it's like a wrestling match with a spider for me to get them on. It's really a struggle. Well, I have found that these House of Lashes lashes go on great for me. I don't know if it's because they have a little bit of a thicker band or what it is, but I can get them in in like five minutes, which is amazing for me. So um, if you haven't tried these, I'd recommend them. They kind of are getting mixed reviews, but I really enjoy these. The ones that I received are the Bordeaux Light lashes and I do have them on today you can see they're not crazy they look pretty natural and I, I just really enjoy them next I wanted to share with you I really love wet and wild cosmetics a lot of the reason is because they're affordable uh, you can go to your local drugstore pick them up and the quality is spot on a lot of dupes for higher end palettes have come through wet and wild and the item I wanted to share with you today is a highlighter. If you haven't tried Wet n Wild highlighters, pick one up and give it a try. These are $4.99 and they're amazing. If you can find one, sometimes they're actually sold out. This particular one is called Blossom Glow and it's from the Flight of Fancy collection, but really any highlighter that they have you could pick up. I, I guarantee you'll enjoy it. Um, the colors are just amazing on these highlighters. They just really shine and they last a long time. I like using them obviously for a cheek highlighter. You can build them up if you want more bazenga like that. Or I also enjoy them for my um, eyebrow highlight. So pick one up if you haven't already. Uh, next is an item that I received in an Ipsy bag, I believe in July, and I tell you, I love this eye pencil. It's from Sugar. It's in a beautiful forest green color, and this thing goes on amazing. You can see how much I, I really need to sharpen it. I use it all the time, and look at that. Look at the color. Look how easy that glides on. It's just amazing. I've got that on today on my lower lash line. I love it because I have green eyes and it really picks up the green in my eyes. I, Again, this is going to be something that when it's gone, I'm going to be hitting up the Sugar website to find another one. I really like that one. Next is this Cover FX Primer. Again, this is a BoxyCharm item from a few months ago. I'll be honest, when I first used this, I wasn't sure what I thought. I, at first I thought it was a little drying on my skin, but I do like this. It's, it comes out kind of in a brown color. It's pigmented, as you can see there. And it just, it really does hide imperfections and kind of fill in and give you a nice surface for your makeup. This is pretty pricey. I don't remember for sure how much it is, but I want to say it's like in the $38 range, which is really out of my range to purchase for a primer, but I have enjoyed using this. Nonetheless, I will miss it when it's gone. I'll go back to my Avon primer, though. I love that. I do. I love it. All right, and I did this summer 
purchase my first high-end eyeshadow palette. And I decided on the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly because it was a little more affordable than the bigger palettes that are like $50. This one I think I ordered off of Amazon and I want to say that I paid right around $30, maybe a little less than that. But I just, I love this little palette. It's so handy to take if you're traveling. Um, there's beautiful colors in here. You can see some of them have some sparkle. And there there is a couple of matte shades in here. Um, this one has a little sparkle to it. and Or this one's a matte. And this one's a sparkle. And I really do love this eyeshadow palette a lot. Just like all Too Faced palettes, it has a wonderful scent to it. It's a chocolate scent. When I first opened it, I was like, oh, I love this. I just, I really love this palette. It does have a little mirror here, as you can see. And also came with this little booklet, which for me was great. I'm fairly new at playing with eyeshadow colors, so it gives you ideas on how to use the palette and how to try different eye looks. So I, I would suggest that if you're in the market for a a higher end palette. It's a, just a nice one to start with. My honorable mention this month goes to Jordana. This is a holographic uh, lip gloss. I don't know why I'm holding it down here. Y'all can't see it. It's a holographic lip gloss from Jordan, Jordana. And I can't remember how much I paid for this, but it wasn't much. I picked it up. It says Cosmic Glow. I was trying to read that. It says Cosmic Glow. I picked it up at Walgreens when I was in picking up a prescription. And um, it, it wasn't expensive. I want to say around five bucks. And this stuff, I just, I love it. It's got, like I said, it's holographic. It's got glitter in it. See, look at this. You can kind of see the holographic glitter there. I have so many pink lipsticks because it's my favorite and this I just really enjoy because I can put it on and kind of change up the color a little bit and just kind of be a little sparkly and a little bit um, rebellious maybe with this lip gloss but, <laughs> but I do love it so uh, just when you're at the drugstore walk by check, check out the, the new things that are coming in you might find a keeper something you really enjoy. Well, thank you so much for hanging tight through this rambly video for putting up with my purple hair today. I was in a little bit of a mood today, so I decided to put on purple hair for y'all. Now, if you, um, if you, again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I do have a video uh, that you can find. I don't, um, I don't have a ton of videos, so it'll be easy to find. I do have plans for a 100 subscriber giveaway. So if you haven't watched that video yet, jump on over and do that. Thank you again for watching and have a blessed day.